Hello, my name is Anam and today I will explain the Pac-Man project for intelligence team. So now first look at the offensive agent. Initially, the Pac-Man is going to find all the legal action which it can take at any given state. And from this legal action, it will remove those which lead it more closer to the coast or towards an empty alley. Now the refined action pool will only have those actions which, it, uh, which takes the Pac-Man more closer to the food or to the capsule. Then from the refined action pool, we will run Monte Carlo simulation on each action and return the Q value as an evaluation. At the end, we'll pick that action which gives the highest Q value for 30 iterations. So this is the uh, features we, we defined to get the Q value, evalu uh, Q value valuation. And these are some of the weights we gave to those features. The weights are decided manually. So now let's look at the experiment we ran to see how good our agent is. Now the agent is playing with an agent which does not use Monte Carlo and just picks random action from the refined action pool. As you can see that in all layouts, the Monte Carlo is going to win. This is an experiment we ran just to see that what, what depth we should put for Monte Carlo simulation. And you can see that over here, as we increase the depth, the agent runs, uh, wins more games. But after, four, after a depth of 40, the agent starts to lose. This is because after the depth of 40, the time condition imposed to us triggers and the agent starts to take random action. So in our case, we should always take the depth of 40, uh, depth of 40 to win maximum. So now for, let's look at the defense agent. The defense agent can either patrol at the boundary or it can sense an enemy and start to chase that enemy or it, it can sense that in which regions uh, of our home the food is decreed and start to move towards this, those regions to protect this food. The technique we use is heuristic value. Here the heuristic value is used uh, uh, is found by using the get maze distance which, uh, which finds the distance using Manhattan distance. So here is an experiment we ran just to see how our agent performed with HMM. The HMM agent performed uh, does not perform well than heuristic because it takes more time to find the optimal action so now let's look at the challenges we faced we were uh, it was a challenge to find what should be the optimal depth of the monte carlo and what way should we should assign to the features so the limitation of our work is that we always assumed that in monte carlo simulation the enemy will remain in stop state as well as when our food in the defense area is very very less our defense agent still remains in the defense area it should then move towards the offense the improvement which we could make is that we could include Q value, uh, deep Q learning to find the weights that are good. And instead of using one Manhattan distance in the defense, it should uh, uh, use A star uh, search to find uh, the minimum distance between the ghost and the food. Now let's look at the live demo. I'll show demo. Now you will see the agent, the offense agent, which is just using random action and not using Monte Carlo. If you observe this agent, you will see it's not good because it's not even moving towards the enemy side, just taking random action. So we need Monte Carlo. So now this is an agent which uses Monte Carlo, but the depth is very less. So it's even it's not good. We need to increase the depth of Monte Carlo. So now this is our agent, we are the blue team. If you observe the Pac-Man of the blue team, you will see that it is securing food, it is eating food, it is avoiding empty alley, and it is avoiding the ghost of the, uh, of the red team. So you see it is securing food and then it is again going to the, uh, to the enemy side. Now we'll show the good defense. So now we're the red team. If you observe the red team, a ghost is just patrolling and then chasing the enemy. It is patrolling. It is patrolling. And now the enemy entered. Then it ate the enemy. Now if you observe the ghost of red team, it will eat the enemy again. Now it's again going to patrol. Enemy will enter. It will eat the enemy. So this is like a trap. If you we are the red uh, blue team, you if you observe the pac of blue team, it is working up till now good. But th this video shows the limitation of our approach because you see now the Pac-Man it will move to an empty alley greater than five. Okay, this is a video which just shows the um, we are the red team and we're using heuristics and the blue team uh, our offense isn't the same, but they're using HMM. So this video just shows how we perform against the team which use HMM as defense. So if you observe the score of the red team, it will uh, first decrease, but it, at the end we will win. Because HMM is following a greedy approach, but we are 
taking such actions which will make us um, uh, uh, win at the end after this demo our presentation will end